Um, all right, uh, my guest today has contributed his fair share in keeping the entertainment industry very, very alive. If you describe my guest uh, as a media mogul, you will not be wrong. He's one of the brains behind the Headies Award and the CEO of Hip Hop World Magazine and Hip TV. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Ayo Anima Show. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> I am I'm excited to have you here and uh, congratulations on the success of the Eddies. Thank you. You guys did an amazing job. It's the twelfth edition now, right? Yeah, yeah. The twelfth twelve years you've been doing this. Well, a, a bit longer than that. A bit longer than twelve yeah. years, but this, years this is actually the twelfth yeah. edition. Yeah. Amazing. Now that, that takes me to the first question. Is is there an awards culture in Nigeria? I mean and if the answer is yes, does the awards that we hand out reflect the realities of today's music and in entertainment in industry in general? Um, because I know that in some places, there's bongo music, for example, yeah. which is some dominant kind of music played in the Southeast, but yeah. I've never seen the bongo music category in any music award. Okay, um, I'll, start my, um, I'll start this way. Okay. We are beginning to build you know, proper award culture and structure. Yeah. Before now, we didn't have. And we um, would need some time for our audience, you know, and um, the people are there to, you know. To adjust. To adjust and get mature with what they need to expect to understand how it goes and everything. It's a lot of work. Yeah, and before you get there, you know, um, you have to really be patient and continue to educate and educate. Now, I'll finish this question, then I'll go to the next one, whether we're covering all spectrum of music. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. Now, um, where I would say uh, we're beginning to understand and build is because um, um, you need to educate. With some of us, like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was this bad. Like, we don't even read at all. When they say um, a, ca a category, you know, um, if you write the definition of a category yeah. there, you know, when you see argument, they don't even read the definition of the They just check, this guy is not here. Mm. I beg, rubbish. Wait till. Or the year in review. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. someone is not, his song or album did not fall into the year in review. Year in review. They, they say, why is, the, why is this beg, person this not guy, here? They don't know what they do. You yeah. know? They're so, you yeah. know, but some guys understand now. And um, uh, we, we have a responsibility to continue to educate. You, yes. know, you wouldn't blame us, but we have a, you know, um, um, at least there's responsibility, some, yeah. yeah. At least there's something in place yes. that we can build on. Yes, then, yeah. then, then our reference point is always, you know, uh, the Grammys, you know. And um, sometimes I even, I laugh. You know, when you reference the Grammys all the time, Grammy last year, no, no, sorry, February was their 60th year. Yeah. This is the 12th edits. So there's this gap. Yeah. They've been there for a long time. But even then, they still make mistakes. Major, major mistakes About that, 48 years that yeah, gap they can't, they, we can't even, if, like if you make those mistakes here, they will tear us apart. And this is the Grammys that you reference. If you go back a bit in history, you remember that uh, there was a group called Milli Vanilli. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, Milli Vanilli were, and got they, an award for my mean. Yes. A Grammy. And nobody, nobody caught them. Nobody caught them until, until, they were until MTV live show when the, you know, backing track was keeping yeah. and, you know, they were exposed. Yeah. And they stripped them of the Grammy Awards. Awards yeah. Now we nominated, you know, some guy in the category. A lot of work here. Guys do a lot of work here. Nominated a lot. A, was some guy in one category, and uh, it was one of the guys that just escaped the year review. And we realized that just a few weeks before oh, the yeah. year review released the yeah. it released the song before the year review. So before nobody said, ah, this guy is wrong. Yeah. We saw it and we removed it and said, ah, rubbish. This one, that one. Yeah. You know, so we okay. get to that now. Now, you're looking at it, seeing all these comments coming from yeah. people, those, both those who are knowledgeable, those who are not, yeah. normally people will weigh into yeah. these things. Yeah. Do you have any kind of, as a CEO, do you have any kind of direct influence on who gets this award? Uh, I would say this, um, yes and no. And I'll explain what I mean by yes. Yes, because of when people, people actually come to meet us and say, ah, oh, okay. Yes, because like and if I want my guy to at least win one. I'll beg you to go and vote. Oh. So that's the influence I have. Uh, oh. Or talk to a guy, go vote. Okay, so your influence is just to advise us. Yes, to go and food. vote. That's not influence. No, no. I mean, you, you, they, you know better. Yeah. Because um, a lot of people, over the years, they've come. And mm. this is the 12th years. Nigerians, mm. our lips are not that sealed. Mm. If one guy, out of, in all the years, has gotten awards based on 
influence or you know backdoor and everything. Well, I've come out to say that I don't mind them. So my influence is when you come to meet me, I'll tell you the reality. Go and vote. Go and vote. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, guys. We are just beginning this interview, so don't even go anywhere. It's, it's about to get more excited. So keep watching. Is the other news. <laughs>
just what we need to do to continue to correct this. And um, people are going to speak who they are, what they think, where they live. You know, and there's no way you can stop that. But you can also discourage it by either buying, listening, playing, and true, even rewarding. True, true, true. And even rewarding. So that's yeah. the role we need to play about that. Ayo, you, you have... Good one, good one. You, you know, from, from the days of uh, humble beginning, from the days of trying to push Hip Hop World magazine, I, I know how... I know how it was. <laughs> I can tell your story too. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can tell my story. I can tell a video yeah, of yours. <laughs> but we are, I'm not going to go deep into that. Yeah, yeah, but okay. I know that you have put in too much, so much investment into, you know, the things, into the entertainment industry. What, what personal convictions drive your, 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 your efforts? What, because seeing the kind of things that you put into this thing, and not like you're not a musician, you know, no. I, I know you're a stakeholder in the business. You know, what, what, what motivates Ayo? What's the push that Ayo gets to do these things? You see, sometimes uh, I just go too far, you know, and I ask myself the same question. You have to believe in it, you know, to do it. Something has to drive you beyond just, you know, what you see or Naya and Kobo. You know, um, uh, when we started Hip Hop World Awards, and um, we were lucky, we worked hard, but we were rewarded with sponsorship at that time. And... Um, those guys just saw through us, you know, and they believed we were going to do a good job. So they put their money where their mouth was, and um, we started the uh, production of the awards. And um, some guys, you know, it's a very small industry. Mm. In this industry, they were there before us, said, oh, boy, you know our mouth. Mm, yeah. And they give you this kind of money. Just divide I half. <laughs> just use half <laughs> on this project, because if you don't get this money again, yeah. It's just now like your breakthrough with this. But guess what? Because we came out with billboards and we told everybody, get ready for a revolution. And people were coming behind us. So if we spent that money at that time, we probably would not be here today. We spent the money on the production. And after the awards, we were still owing. Wow. We were still owing. But guess what? The next year, we chose our sponsors. Oh, yes. We chose our sponsors. Because they saw the kind of quality that yes, you put so, out. So, thank you. So, so... It, 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 it's a journey, and um, journey, if you're here for the long haul, you've got to know that it's not just about Nara and Kobo now. You've got to work hard, you've got to persevere. Sometimes it's going to be very difficult. Sometimes you're going to lose your, you spend your own money to make this work, you know, and, but you've got to keep on doing it. Okay, I, our country is going through a whole lot. A whole lot, yeah. and everybody seemed to agree that we need social reengineering. Yeah. Do you think the, the entertainment industry can help change this country? Sure. Uh, yes. Not obviously, not everybody in the entertainment industry, but like um, not the, everybody, not everybody, not the guys that are singing that the, those kind of songs. songs yeah. like that. <laughs> they cannot help yeah, anybody. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, but yeah, but there are guys in the entertainment industry that can actually really come out and help. The first thing I would say is that. Um, the entertainers have a responsibility, you know, because um, they are following, store followers and everything. They have a responsibility not to collect, um, to do the right thing and to tell the people the truth and um, to, to have, um, to stand for the truth. Now, if, for example, a governor calls me and I know that I don't believe in his, in his manifesto and everything, uh, but just because he gives me a certain amount of money, I support him. It's the same thing that we are telling those guys that collect bags of rice, you know, for not, to do. Years, not to do. You yeah. understand? So, yeah, yeah, so, so some of them should. Um, now you're talking about endorsing politicians. You know, yes. It's a different thing endorsing so, politicians yeah. and entertaining politicians. Yes. Because entertainment is your trade. Yes. And you can you sell to whoever wants yeah, to of buy. Course, of course. But when it comes to endorsement, endorsement that's exactly yeah, what yeah, you're talking about. Okay, so that we get it clear because of yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm. when you endorse politicians, know why you do so. Mm. That's one. Number two, some guys in entertainment are brilliant, they are strong, they can go for political offices and run and you know just change things. Yeah. You know, so yes, there, yeah, there's a yeah, There are people there. in entertainment who are educated yeah. enough, smart enough to yes. run public offices. Yes, they are there. And we are also seeing some politicians with skills now to <laughs> play a role in the entertainment <laughs> industry. So, uh, <laughs> really are singing now, some are dancing. Really yeah, yeah, um, well. you know, and since they are really? beginning to make move towards our own sector, don't you think that the entertainers should we now should go take over to yeah. their own side now yeah. and do politics? Now, yeah. having said that, are you, is there politics in your future? Because, no. I mean, young man, you've been there, done that. I mean, 
grown and a whole industry contributed your fair share. Next move is to begin to use some of your platform to begin to bring change politically. No, that's not the plan for me. Uh, okay. We can't all go through, you know, the, that door. Some of us, yes, but not all of us. Some of us, you What of you? Me, no. <laughs> Why? Why? No, because... Um, Why? You were probably Obama's age mate or younger when he became uh, I, president. I know, I know. That, that's actually true. By, by the way, um, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of that guy. And uh, Trump is sitting there now. <laughs> Trump is sitting there. Trump is sitting there. Not, he, was, he was in, in all these business. things, were, media. Those guys were never in show business. Trump was in into pageantry no, and no, uh, TV no, no. reality okay, shows. Okay, that's and, true. Though, but yeah. uh, more more in properties than anything. Yeah, more in property. Yeah, properties yeah. was his main yeah. cash cow. Uh, for me, no, because I I'm so convinced about what I do, and there's so much to be done in this area. All of us can be there. You don't want to touch. There's so exactly. much to be done. You just in want this to area. restrict your political involvement. People like you can go. <laughs> we encourage others to you know um, to get involved. You know, make sure you register. And um, vote for your candidate of choice, yeah. you know, and uh, know why so you do so. So you're going to be in support of Okebaka, hashtag Okebaka, as the president. All the way. 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 I put you as my running mate. No, 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 don't do that. Uh, <laughs> we support you all the way. Let some of us remain here so that as you are becoming governor, some of you will be watching, if, sorry, watching our channel, some people will be yeah, in the You say, you say your channel will be watching TV. TV. You've TV. done a good job, man. You deserve a mention. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Ayo. Thanks. Thanks for everything, bro. Nice to meet you. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, All right. Awesome interview with Ayo.